guys thank you for coming back to my channel i hope you had a nice weekend hope you out there being safe and everything and if you're first time make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you know when i have more videos coming up and um if you're returning thank you for coming back definitely appreciate you definitely appreciate you coming back and your new subscribers but today guys i want to talk about the skill that we all should have we all should have this skill but sometimes i wonder do people have it? I, I wonder do people have this skill? But we all should have this skill. So coming up, I'm gonna shed some light on it and let you know what this skill is, okay? Coming right up. Okay guys, so, you know, um, this skill that we all should have, you know, I just wonder sometimes, do people really, truly have these skills by the reaction. And that skill is pure common sense. Common sense. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, do people really have it? You know? So we're gonna talk about common sense today. So I like you know, you know, the stores and everything is opening up and some areas, the beaches are opening up, barbershop, uh, hair salons are opening up and everything. So I just, wonder does people really have common sense now i know that you know people have to get back to work and everything and that's the only uh means that they have is their business so someone may be feeling like they may be homeless if they don't get back to work so you got homeless and you have back to work homeless back to work back to work okay so that's why a lot of people are choosing to open up their business and stuff um, to go back to work but common sense do people really have common sense now just like at the beach you know you go to the beach and stuff everybody laying around on the beach and stuff you know the common sense was would be to stay away from people and you know have your little spot by yourself at least six feet or more so but you look on the news, there, there's a lot of people down there at the beaches that are already open. And they all together, they're all around, and, you know, they, they just all around each other. And this pandemic is still yet going on. It's still going on, and it's still yet pretty bad. It's, it's not gone. There is no cure for it. They're trying so hard to get a cure for this thing. But we have to have common sense. We have to have common sense and be safe, guys. We have to be safe. And um, like when you go to uh, get your hair done, the barbershop, some of you don't, you know, know how to do your own hair and you have to go to the barbershop. And there's uh, people, the owners who have to cut hair, you know, to keep their business going because they're losing a lot of money. So, you know, you're sitting in a chair, you're getting your hair done or getting your hair cut and stuff. Then you have this person over you and then you know, most of the time I should say, I always say, hold your breath, you know, if you're passing someone in the aisle in the store, but you can't hold your breath at a chair or sitting in a chair that long while somebody cutting your hair without passing out. So there you go. Those are the, the you know, the things you have to say, okay, this is common sense. Should I go? Should I don't go? Should I go? Is it a risk? You know, is it a risk that I'm taking? And yes, it is a risk. Most of the time it is a risk because you do you don't know who may have this. You don't know who may have COVID-19 and coronavirus. A lot of people get sick and they don't even know they have it. So yeah, there's a risk that you are taking when you're going uh, to get your hair done and stuff. So, you know, exercise that common sense, you know, if you really, really have to get your hair done, you know, there's a chance, you know, hey, a chance you may be made, a chance you may not. There's a risk that you're going to have to take. And, you know, going to the nail salon, the same thing. You know, a lot of us can't do our nails. I'm unfortunate. I'm fortunate that I can do my own nails. And I, I love doing my nails because when I do my nails, it's like a relaxation time for me. I relax and I have the music on and I just be all into my nails. You know, I really like it. It's like a relaxation thing for me. But some um, some of you probably can't do your nails. I never had to do your nails before. And you feel like you need to go to the salon and get your nails done. So, there you go again. You can't hold your, your breath that long 
while you're sitting there getting your nails done. So, here you go again. Should I go? Should I don't? Is it worth it or not? So, you got to exercise that common sense. Is it worth it? Is it worth it that you go there and get your nails done and then you may be exposed? Like I said, you know, um, people who have these nail salons, they have to open the business and get back to work, you know, because some of them don't have no other means of money coming in, so they have to open up these shops. But you just have to exercise your common sense. You know? Should you go in the store and buy you some Lee Presso nails? <laughs> or should you go in there and, and get the manicure and do your own nails? Or you just should just go ahead and do a nice trim and do your own nails, like I do. So, common sense. You do or you don't. There's a risk. Yes, so so I just want to just talk about this common sense because I see on TV how a lot of places are opening up. The gym, even the gym is opening back up in some places. Another thing, common sense. Common sense, you go in there with your mask on and there's a bunch of sweat and everything at the gym and stuff. You know, common sense. Use your own common sense. Do you want to stay home and think of something that you can do at home? Ride your bike or even do some type of workout at home using weights, aerobics, run, whatever the case may be. Again, common sense. There's a risk that you go in there in the gym and be exposed to someone who may have COVID-19. We don't know. It would be great if there was a sign say, yeah, I do have COVID-19. And then I heard, too, that sometimes people don't even have fever. So should you stay complacent at home until they find a, a cure for this thing or uh, until they know where this thing is going? You know, the curve is flattening. That's true. It is flattening. The curve is flattening. But, you know, so many people get out there and they go to the beach, they go to the gym, and they're doing all these things like this beast is not still out there. This beast is still here, and it's here. And it's still here, guys. So, I just want to talk about some common sense. Some people, I don't know if they really have common sense. You know? Um, so, you know, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself out there. And, you know, just think about... Should I? Or is it a risk? Or should I take this chance? You know, going to the gym when I can do something at home. I can walk, run, jog, work on weights, treadmills. There's so many things you can do if you just exercise your mind. Exercise your mind and, you know, tap into that inner side, like, you know, that creative side of your mind. You can always be creative. You know, so, you know, just be careful, guys. Be careful because I see this, all these businesses opening up and stuff. I see it's opening up and I'm like, wow, this is amazing that this is happening right now and they don't even have a cure for it. So we ourselves, we have to protect ourselves. You have to cure and protect yourself. Protect yourself and use common sense. Common sense that, you know... If you go out or wherever you go, exercise that six feet apart. Like I tell my daughter, when we go to the store, I ask her before we even go in the store, I said, what is your job? What are your job to do? <laughs> hey, come in for a minute. Can you come in for a second? And someone tell them what your job is. Can you tell, tell uh, my channel, my, my family here what your job is? What is your job is when you go to the store? Speak loud so everybody can hear you. Come here. Just stand here. Right there, right there. Speak loud. What is your job? Is... My job is not to touch anything. Not to touch anything. Right? Uh -huh. And what? Keep your hand in your pocket, right? Uh -huh. And what do you do when you go down, down the aisle and you the aisle and you face someone and you're too close? What do you do? I hold my breath. You do what? I hold my breath. She holds her breath. <laughs> Good. All right. Yeah, so that's, you know, this common sense. You just have to also tell your kids, too. You know, exercise common sense. She knows her job. When she go in the store, don't touch nothing. And stay right beside me. 
That's what we got to do. Okay, guys. I'm having, I'm doing like a little, um, what do you call it? A little dance, a little at the end, how to exercise too when you are out and you see someone you know and because you want to go give them a hug, but you don't want to give them a hug and you want to just go, mm, mm, you know, but you can't, we can't. So check out my little video coming up after this that's telling you what you may uh, be able to do, which I do it and I like it, you know, so check it out. Okay, check it out and see what you think about my video that's coming up next. And um, I hope you exercise this too. And basically just use common sense, whatever you do. Use common sense. We all have common sense. Let's just use it. Okay, guys? So we can get through this. We can get through this and keep that curve flat, flat. We don't want it to spike back up like that. We do not want to spike back up. So we want it flat. Let's keep it flat and use common sense. We all have it. We all have it. Well, I hope we do anyway. <laughs> I hope we do. Oh, well, most of the people have common sense, huh, babe? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, guys, I hope you like my video and uh, be safe out there. And take care of yourself, okay? Do take care of yourself. Be vigilant. And um, appreciate you coming and watching my video this week. Okay? And go out and be safe. And check out my video coming up. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, coming up next. All right. Hope you have a blessed week. Peace out. See you next week. Bye. Okay, guys. We're going to do the new wave. New wave. Since this COVID-19 is going on, you know, a lot of times we want to hug people and go, mm, and hug them, right? And we can't do that. So we got to wave from a distance. But this, I want us to try this new wave, okay? And for the uh, younger generation, you go, okay? And then you got the middle age, going to go, all right? And then for the older generation, no mistake, no mistake. Okay, so let's go ahead and recap this new wave. And I want you to try it. So for the younger generation, do that. Okay, and then for the middle age, and for the older generation, no mistake. No mistake. So there you go. That new wave. Let's try it. Try it. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba.